Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation on searching Geobase via the Engineering Village platform. This is the third and final video in a three-part series that aims to demonstrate how to utilize some of the more advanced features within this database. This video will also cover methods to access related resources. Our search topic will be finding geological surveys in the state of Utah. Notice that as you begin typing your search terms from the default search screen, suggestions from the engineering index EI Thesaurus will appear within the drop-down menu. However, to start off on an even better foot, I will begin the search in the Thesaurus search mode. To do this, use the top drop-down menu labeled Search and choose the option for Thesaurus. Databases will often incorporate some type of controlled vocabulary to better serve both users and the nature of content and indexing. Thus, by utilizing the thesaurus, you are able to better optimize your search input to match the unique corresponding index or search terms utilized within the database. Make sure you have Geobase selected at the top and we will begin searching for preferred or suggested search terms contained only in the Geobase database, not the entirety of the engineering index. Note how Geobase does not contain the controlled vocabulary term geological surveys. Instead, we can select geological mapping and the singular geological survey connected with an OR operator. Clicking on these terms, we can view their thesaurus record and decide if we want to include broader, narrower, or related terms. Once we're satisfied, we can then click the search box to view our results. To filter these results by a geographical location, we can first select View More under Geographic Terms on the left side search limiter. However, if we don't see Utah within this list, we can simply back up and add the term Utah to refine our results. One of the more advanced and unique features of the Engineering Village platform is the Show Map feature. This allows searchers to visualize a topic's association with different areas around the world. From here, we can tell that various geological aspects of Utah may be associated, associated with a variety of other global locations. Let's go back to our search results. At this point, you may wish to hone in on a more specific document type, controlled vocabulary term, or publication year, all of which can be achieved by using the provided filters located on the left-hand column. However, at this point, we're going to now switch gears. Notice how we have a total of 45 records retrieved using the thesaurus search mode. Now that we know our preferred search terms, a similar search can be accomplished with the quick search. We will use the same terms as before, while this time changing the first search field to subject, title, abstract. And for the second search field, we will use the drop-down option for geographic terms. Our 45 search results have now gone up to 100. Can you guess why? Perhaps take a moment to pause the video. Searching with different search methods will inherently yield some degree of variance. However, the answer, however, the answer to this is a little more complicated than that. When using the quick search method, our search inputs are recognized as keywords, and any space between the words, such as the space between geological and mapping, or geological and survey, the database will automatically input an AND operator behind the scenes. To negate this effect, we may use specific phrase searching by adding quotation marks around each pair of words. Doing so brings us much closer to our previous search results using the thesaurus. 
Below the search boxes are useful content filters and search options. Here you will find the option for auto stimming, which is another unique feature found in GeoBase. By default, this option is turned on, which allows the database to search for the term entered as well as the root term and all other possible variations. It's important to note that when users search with wildcards or truncation, this feature is turned off and searchers must manually stim each desired term with a dollar sign. In most cases, beginning your search, you're most likely going to want to leave this feature turned on. However, a possible variation to our search to incorporate truncation on a specific word while still using the stimming function would look something like this. I would first use truncation to search for map or any of its other forms. Since auto stimming is now disabled, I will also place a dollar sign in front of the specific words that I still desire to use with the word stimming feature. It's important to note that using truncation and wildcards with quotation marks or braces will not provide consistent search results. Because of this, we cannot use specific phrase searching in this situation. On a final note, auto stimming can broaden your search results. However, to increase stimming and search precision, users can turn this feature off and only stim specific terms. Using GeoBase is just one of the many resources available for geological science research and literature here at the Pollock Library. Addi additional resources that would be appropriate for the investigation of geology related inquiries would be the databases GeoRef via ProQuest, Web of Science, GreenFile, and ScienceDirect. Links to each of these and much more can be found on the Pollock Library's LibGuide for Geological Sciences, accessed by visiting libraryguides.fullerton.edu forward slash geology. If you have further questions on using GeoBase or any other questions relating to this field of interest, I highly encourage you to visit the reference desk either in person or online through the library's virtual chat service. Thank you for attending this presentation and have a wonderful day.